looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Boom. I'm gonna show you how to make your chalkboard go from this to this. What's up, Wolf family? Today I'm going over how to erase the chalkboard. After Isaiah was drawing for a while, we realized that just a regular old chalkboard eraser was not gonna cut it. So, you might as well just throw that into the garbage. And then after doing a bit of research, it took me a while because I couldn't find nothing. People were saying Coke. I'm not spraying Coke on the wall. But I did find that if you pour a little bit of, a little bit of vinegar and the rest of water and shake it up, in like a little spray bottle it works perfect it cleans it just as if it was brand new painted i'll show you with the regular eraser how it looks so it kind of just smears it it will erase but not really enough to be able to write on it It'll just keep smearing and keep smearing and then the whole wall will be white. So, we decided to let that go. If you spray this onto the wall and just wipe it with a paper, towel or a washcloth you see how it washes off much better and then it just looks like like it did when you first painted it And it doesn't leave the wall feeling any type of way. It dries quickly and then they could draw on it again and erase it. And it's real, real easy. Much easier than a regular chalkboard eraser. That was not cut in it. And we actually did leave down the sheet to catch any of the chalk dust because his, his carpet is white and we didn't want the colored chalk to color the floor. So we did leave that there just in case you guys think about it and need to do the same. Let's play. Um, Tic Tac Toe? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, Tic Tac Toe. I wanna be the blue since I'm the boy. Who's going for it? Okay. Okay. My turn. Oops. Um. Oh, man. All right, and then we'll just use our spray, just like I did previously. Spray it and then wipe it off. Nice and easy. Much easier than the eraser. Yeah, much more easier.
crap. All right, what do you want to draw? We can do who did it better. Uh, let's try to draw SpongeBob. All right. So we're going to draw SpongeBob, and then you guys got to comment down below who drew it better. So who did it better? Mm -hmm. so we're just going to use whatever colors we have. We might not have just yellow to use. It's probably going to be yellow. You know what I have to do? I don't care about that. All right. So there are our Spongebobs. There's Isaiah's Spongebob. There's, I don't even have no arms on my Spongebob. So there's both of our, don't like that. There's both of our Spongebobs. Mine don't have any arms though. But that's okay. All right, so we hope you guys felt like that was very informative and that now you have a new way of cleaning your chalkboard. See you tomorrow.